Special thanks to our YouTube members, Tilted1013 and Eden Cruz. If you want to join or learn more about it, check out the link down below. Long time no see guys in the side of that flip flop guy and welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode we went to or we did a bunch of stuff and got into Dragon Roost Cavern and this time we're actually going to go through Dragon Roost Cavern. Huzzah are our first first dungeon of the gosh dang game like actual first dungeon as it, it seems weird because it feels like we've already done like done a dungeon but this one's like an actual full blown out dungeon um honestly it's a really good one i really like this dungeon quite a bit it's probably one of my favorite ones in like the whole zelda game like not the whole zelda game but like any zelda game it's like it's super good man i, I really like it and no drops man come on these are just basic enemies still uh nothing too special about them they just have fiery pokey sticks and no drops Okay, fine. Honestly, the first time you come here, if you do not follow this uh, this walkthrough, you'll probably be... You'll probably have three hearts, which don't worry about it. The only thing that's going to damage you a lot in this level, and I will say this right now, we will burn our butt more than anything else in this in this dungeon. Trust me, it's going to happen. It's really going to happen. It's a pain in the butt. And hey, look, our first small key. Small keys open doors like this that have locks on them, and you can use them interchangeably, basically. So if you have two small keys, uh, you don't have to go through this one if there's another small key door to be unlocked. So a lot of fun stuff over there. Uh, I don't really... Man, we're kind of full on rupees, which is unfortunate, but but yes, we will be taking damage in a very inconvenient way. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. You probably guess how we're going to take damage. Uh, as you can see, it is very hot and, you know, full of lava. Not a very fun place, I will say this. It's, you will get burned. If you do not get hit by fire or lava in this in this dungeon I, I you're cheating you are cheating there's never been a time where i've gone through this dungeon without burning my butt at least five times so we're gonna see we are gonna see this episode if we get through it without burning our butts five times and then if if not then the let's play curse isn't real and oh we got some keys slash bats and oh these guys are annoying watch out we will get an item kind of later in this dungeon i'm just gonna go across i don't even trust this uh we will get a better item to take care of these enemies later on in the dungeon unfortunately uh so dealing with them now is not the best unfortunately but luckily we got bomb flowers and our mighty sword but yeah like i was saying before you should only have three hearts if you didn't do all the side quest stuff that you could have done so that's unfortunate but again you probably only need three honestly if you're good you you won't take any damage because, you know, you're just built different. You're just so good. Uh, these little pots here that have water, if you put them on the lava, as you saw, they gave us a little platform. And our first mega chest of the area, we got the dungeon map, which honestly, yeah, we've seen the dungeon map before. And as you can see, this is a pretty big area. Uh, honestly, the first floor is honestly the biggest and there's really not too too much elsewhere in all honesty which is kind of sad i will say it's kind of a smaller dungeon area and i'm going to yeah pick up another one uh those platforms will go away unfortunately after a little bit so you do have to uh you should probably use one while traversing but yeah this dungeon's very strange and oh the meanest enemy oh and we did not get hit by him how usually i always get hit by the red choo-choo but uh luckily and no drops well, that's just even more rude. <laughs> but no, this this dungeon's honestly not too, too bad if you know what you're doing. And excuse you. What? 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 Why was there a... Why was there a joy pendant in the water jugs? Please tell me that was from the water jugs. Are you... Why? That kind of makes me want to check out the water jugs more. Why was there... Okay, whatever. Oh, boy. It looks like we have someone hiding in the jars. And weirdly enough, we cannot break these little boards right here without it being broken so we have to take his gosh dang sword and break him that way and we are full on rupees oh no yes the only way we can break these boards is with his sword which is very annoying if i do say so myself and red shoes give me give me your guts give me your guts and i got one guts <gasps> two guts maybe two guts heck yeah we got two okay i will take two guts any time of the weekend Ooh, another chest. I thought we had to use a key there for a second, but no, we're just going to get another key. <laughs> All right, I'll, I, I will, I will take it. Good lord. Um, yeah. Honestly, this is a very, this is a very straightforward. And excuse you, why? Excuse you? 
Why is the audio so weird right now? <laughs> is my Wii U finally dying on me? It sounds like it's dying a little bit. Uh-oh. Hold on, let me check. Okay, I think I fixed the issue. Hopefully, if 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 it's being really weird, I'm, I apologize. Uh, the way to get through this area right here is by throwing rocks, but what I like to do, and I think is better and more safe, is just doing a, sw uh, a swing attack. Spin attack, good lord. A spin attack gets you through pretty nicely. Ooh, we almost burned our butt. We almost burned our butt. We almost burned our butt. Uh, honestly, you can't, I'm saying honestly a lot today. You can get a lot of rupees in this stage, which isn't bad uh, from schools, which feels kind of weird and bad, but it's, you're gonna get a lot of money from the stage if you haven't had a lot of money from being a mailman. It's, it's very strange and we are getting so many red choo-choos, holy cow. There is a special item out. There is a special item over here, but we will not go over there just yet. We need a specific item to reach that place. And did you just fall through the floor? Um, okay, fine. Have it your way, I guess. Good Lord. Uh, there should be, yep, there we go. There should be a secret guy in that middle pot there that we're just gonna bully him until he dies and steal his weapon. Because again, we have to have this weapon to enter in this room, which is, it's ridiculous, man. And I, I don't, oh, I, I guess I will not keep you. I'm just gonna throw it. It's kind of weird, I will say, because there's a lot of places in this dungeon where I've gotten stuck before, where I'm just either not thinking or just not using, using words, not words, but using my brain where I'm like, oh, hey, you could do this. And wow, we are really, did we just get lucky with that joy pendant? Wow. Okay, this is gonna teach you about a mechanic about this bridge. If you cut a bridge, hold on, can we show it? Can we show it? Oh, there we go. You can actually cut the sides of this bridge. And let me tell you, it is no bueno. Okay, hey, 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 easy, 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 easy. Just come over here. Let me take care of you. I did not want to turn around. Fine, you know what? You little turd. <laughs> you can actually cut down the bridge and I don't know how you would get across in all honesty. Maybe you could leave and come back and I did not want you to fall all the way down. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I, I thought he would like make a sploosh, but he just, you know, disappeared into the, into the abyss. But this part right here, honestly, too, does not make sense to me. How is lava shooting through this mountain and not burning? What is that noise? I was like burning the ladder, but these enemies right here too, we'll have a, we'll have a certain item if we are not a certain item. They do have an item. If you get lucky and it drops nothing, but oh wait. Yes, there we go. That is the item I was looking for. We got a golden feather. Keep it in your spoils bag. A certain strangeness emanates from the quills of the be beautifully shining golden feather. Winged girls are said to be infatuated with these treasures. Yes, that is another collectible that we will need to collect, which very fun and oh boy. Okay, let's just sit a little cross, shall we? And this is scary. Like Link is actually touching lava <laughs> or like magma. Or yeah, magma's inside, lava's on the outside. So I believe that's magma. And then when it shoots out, it's it's lava. So we gotta be a little bit careful. And I do not like this. Oh, no, 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 no. Siddle, 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 siddle. Hey, siddle. Okay. Oh. No, 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 siddle. S okay, there we go. Now we can siddle across. Good look. See, I don't know why Link just thinks he's just this awesome person. Like I would probably have a pool of diarrhea forming in my body if this was happening, but. Oh man, honestly, I really, no, get up. I almost pressed the let go button and it would have been really sad. Honestly, this, this dungeon is really fun. And technically the Forsaken Fortress is the first dungeon of the game, but like this feels right. This feels like an actual dungeon. And I don't know why the Forsaken Fortress just, it's, 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 it's a tutorial. That's what it is. It's, it's a very weird tutorial. So in this room right here, as you'll see, there's a little hole in the wall and you're probably wondering, hey, how in the heck do I get there? Uh, there's a lot of stuff to go over in this dungeon, holy cow. But uh, if you move these blocks about one pole each and head back here, you will notice there's a different hole, link, hole. There we go, you'll notice there's a hole. And if you are low on rupees, this is a chance to get more. You won't get a lot, honestly, but it's not a bad place to get rupees. I'll, I'll say, you know, if you're, if you're hurting, if you don't want to be a mailman, apparently, if you really just want to be just stupid, I guess, you know, because a mailman's like one of the best jobs you can have, right? Right? I, honestly, I've been thinking about this a lot. Like there's been the union stuff with the, or the strikes and the unions with the mail mailman. I think it's UPS too. Uh, but honestly, I've been thinking, it's like, man, what awesome. You know, I, I love it when people can like fight for their rights and get money. You know, that's what, that's what's important. And these mice, what are you doing? <laughs> and, Oh no, who's calling me? Hello, hello, hello. 
Link, have you seen any filthy thieving rats around? No, I have not. What are you talking about? I know they're annoying, but keep your wits about you. They are only rats. If you spread some, if you spread bait near their nests, they may share their store, their store of treasure with you. Why don't you try it? So he kind of explains a weird mechanic that I don't use too much. If you pull out, if you pull out your spoils bag, there we go. Let's use one. And if you lay down some bait in front of a rat hole, a rat will come out and eat them. Then he looks super cute, actually. Hello. Delicious. Hey, I got something real good. I sell you for free. What, do, what will it be you? He will give you bait, three scoops for one scoop. So for one thing of bait, he will give you three. Then you are netting two. It, oh, no, technically not. <laughs> I thought he was giving me it to free. Okay, fine. I'll buy it. Whatever. Honestly, just buy him from Beetle. It's kind of weird. You can also buy Hoi Pairs, but I don't think it's really worth using that, in my opinion. Plus, you get the points from Beetle. So it's like, why are we even bothering with that, I guess? I don't, it's silly. It's really, really silly. I don't... I really don't understand why you would want to get that. But our next major item is the compass, which we've seen before. <laughs> we've seen all these items before. It's... These items are staples, so you'll see up there, and I do not have my map. Oh, there we go. Now I have my map up. But yeah, the compass is really only going to help you with which way you're facing. And if you, again, if you have the the, the thing, the, the Wii U gamepad, and if you want to light that stick on fire and throw it, obviously. But yeah, if you don't have the Wii U pad, the map's kind of weird. You pause a lot, and it's kind of annoying, honestly. It's, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But the, the compass will actually show us somewhere a uh, treasure chest that we're missing and another small key we only have one more small key to find and i think yeah only four small keys which is not too bad at all and yeah so like i said you could have gone through this area right here and missed that small key which you need all the small keys trust me so you would have missed that and would have been uber sad uber sad and uber sad but, but yeah it's it's kind of weird it, it really is and oh man hello sir the last small key and the one that i miss almost every single time is right under this gosh dang bird. I have played this game multiple times. And if I do not kind of brush up on the dungeon beforehand where I'm like, okay, this is where all, this is where the stuff is, you know, whatever. I will miss that key every single time without fail. And can you pull out your shield link? What are you doing? You're trying to go mano y mano with the bird and just a pot J or just a rupee. Fine, fine, you little turd, whatever. Don't give me a, your stinking feather, whatever. I'm gonna beat up this wall. <laughs> I don't know this it's they made it so much accessible with the wii u version but i still really like <gasps> swing your your sword kill the bats kill the keys i don't know if they're called bats or keys in this game i i'm gonna have to double check that but i believe they're called keys or maybe they're bats i don't know I'm, I'm really not sure and this is the first damage we've taken this whole dungeon holy holy cow all right i'll take i'll take it i'll take it but yeah I, it's it's i love how much they made it. Ooh, a joy pendant! Heck yeah! I'll, I will take it. I love how accessible they made it for the Wii U version because, I mean, it is annoying to go, all right, where am I? Okay, I'm on two. I need to look here. Like, where you can just have it on the, the gamepad and just look that way. I, I get it that not everyone's going to want to play with a gamepad. And usually I do play with it when I'm not, you know, when I'm not doing this because having a controller is kind of weird. But uh, with the gamepad, it's a lot more accessible in my opinion. I, I do quite like it a lot because it's just it adds a one less feature one less or it adds a feature that is kind of a pain in the butt in the gamecube version in my opinion but i think that's with every zelda game where you have to like look for stuff and like have to pause every second to find stuff uh this is also another important mechanic here and i don't believe it's in any other zelda game and don't throw it just set it down <laughs> link this is a pot obviously uh and it will go back to the start middle and end of the dungeon. So if you have to end up quitting for some reason, you can't really play for too much longer or you have to go do something, you can actually just save and quit and it'll start you at the beginning of the dungeon, but it will take you back to one of those pots. It's honestly a really cool mechanic. I, I like it quite a bit because usually when you do quit out of a, out of a dungeon, it's like kind of a pain in the butt and you're like, man, I really want to continue this, but I also don't want to have to go through the whole dungeon where I've already completed it. But that's just a nice little, accessible option in my opinion i quite like it a lot and oh this room this room has some hidden enemies as you, as you will see and really no there's there's hidden enemies what where are they hey wait oh i know there's one over here which i believe it's this pot right here yes it is heck yeah we hey we got it right good lord 
Stop it. Do not hit him. Do hit him, not the, not his butthole. <laughs> Come on, there we go. There's three enemies in this room and you need to find all of them before you can exit, which if you have a hard time searching for things, then uh, you're not gonna have a very good time in this room. And the last one right here is on the, the last one right here is on the wall. Thank you, good Lord. <laughs> In all actuality, the enemies of this of this dungeon are not going to be too difficult. Mostly they're just going to be for rupee counts and getting items, which I'm having terrible luck getting actual items. Come on now, why are you not being nice to me? But there's actually one item that we are wanting to get. There's two main items in this dungeon that we want to collect, and this is one of them. You do not want to miss out on this if you want to get 100%. This right here. This is a special item which we've seen before. I don't know why I'm being all secretive about it. It's another sea treasure chart. Yeah, I almost called them sea charts. A treasure chart, another treasure chart. These are very important. We'll get into these kind of after the dungeon. Most, mostly they're going to be for obviously treasure, but we need an item from this dungeon to get those said treasures since we cannot uh, reach at the uh, bottom of the ocean, if you dig me, if you, if you understand, if you if you're smelling what I what I'm stepping, if if you're if you're uh, what's another analogy? I'm trying to think of another analogy. If you're if you're uh, cooking what oh enjoy pendant. If you're uh, uh, cooking what I'm dishing, or if you're dishing what I'm smelling, I don't even know. And oh you, this room is really annoying just because of this. Really? <laughs> really? Get, get out of there. Get out of there. S stop. Just get out of this this area. This enemy right here is very jerkish. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. Okay. We're fine. I just burned my butt a little bit. That's fine. I don't, I, you know, that takes about a quarter. You know, we don't, we don't need a quarter and die. Die, please. And come on. Just get back up here. There's certain items that will help you defeat this enemy. Ooh, are you dead? Are you dead? Are you coming back? Oh, you son of a turd. Come on. This is such a mean placement for this enemy. Miyamoto. And really? What are you doing? Die. Oh my goodness. Fine. You know what? I don't need you. I really don't need you. I'm just going to bring over this water. I might need you. <laughs> I might need you. No, you. Ugh. Why are you not nice to me? Die, die, die. Oh my goodness. Come on. What, what did they expect with this? What did they honestly expect with this to... Stop it. What did they expect? How did, how do you, oh, come on. Why? <laughs> come on, there's two. No, you fell into the lava. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> he fell in again, come on. No, I burned my butt again. That's three. Oh my goodness. Wait. Wait. That's like an insta kill almost. Oh my, I'm so stupid. Okay, just throw, throw a water barrel, I guess. <laughs> throw a water barrel. And it like is an almost insta kill. I am stupid. <laughs> I am stupid. <laughs> I thought you had to fight him there. Are you kidding me? Okay, I guess you learn stuff new. Uh, you learn stuff new every day. You learn new stuff every day. Good Lord. Okay, throwing a water pot on this little lava plume will send you up here and will not burn the platform. Luckily, uh, kind of weird. Apparently water is stronger than lava, right? I, I feel like that is not true. <laughs> but as you can see over there, there's the boss room and another one of those. Why? <laughs> Why do you hate me? Why do you hate me? But another one of those enemies and the boss room and we unlocked another little thing right there. It's honestly, that's the last one. So if we need to, we do need to go back to the beginning of the dungeon at some point to grab another item that we're gonna miss or that we might miss. So that will be very, very helpful. But yeah, that's the boss room. You cannot go into the said boss room until you get a key. And it looks like there is Baloo and something's happening. He's, he's, he's very upset. Something's going on with him. I don't know. Maybe you need some Tums. <laughs> I know what happens, man. Sometimes you eat too much pizza and you get a little heartburn, you know, your tummy upset. We need to give him some Tums. That's what we're doing. And it looks like we're in an arena with two little idiots. <laughs> Honestly, it's, these guys are pretty easy. I, I feel very sad, but these enemies are not, they're not hard. <laughs> As you see, he was jumping into the wall. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing, you idiot? And I got another joy pendant. Are you kidding me? He is strong. 
This boy's strong. Good lord. <laughs> and is that it? That is it. And ooh, another enemy joins the fray. These guys were at the Forsaken Fortress, and we did not get a chance to fight him yet. He's a mean boy. He will block you and don't push me. I, I said don't push me. I said don't push me. I don't want to be pushed right now. And is that it? Those swords are so overpowered and ooh, another drop. Medley, you can wait. I need my drop. Give me a second. <laughs> and oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? A skull necklace. Keep it in your spoils bag. Another collectible. This rather off-putting accessory would, would appear to be a little to be of little value. But show it to the right person. It it is apparently of great worth. So basically, um, small mushroom and Pokemon where everyone's like, I hate this thing. And then one guy's like, I love this. I love it. <laughs> is, is it basically that, I guess? Uh, cool. Awesome. But uh, let's go say Medley, I guess. That's what we're here for. Hello, Medley. How are you doing? Link, you came to rescue me. Oh, thank you. I have to tell you what I found out. This is terrible. Some creatures... Some creature is doing awful things to the great Valu's tail. That's why he's so angry. So you mean he doesn't need Tums? <laughs> the great Valu's tail hangs down into the room right below here. There's got to be something in there. I wonder if those mean monsters who captured me have something to do with it. Uh, we've got to do something now before it's too late. I I'll go and tell everyone what's happening. Here, Link, use this to get out of here. It's what I used to get this far. It's a device we Rito used before we evolved wings. Wait, I thought you had wings though. Why are you bringing this if you don't need wings? We got the grappling hook! This is this was an item used by the Rito people before they had wings. Talk about evolution. Heck yeah, baby. You can use you can even use it to haul things up from the seafloor while you're on a boat. So this was the item we needed to haul treasure up. Here, Link, climb up. Climb up on that little ledge over there so I can show you something. Yeah, you have wings. You didn't take a, a scale from Valu. You've You've, you've done this already, my man. Like, what are you doing? Okay, let's equip this little item here. I'm gonna, ooh, actually give me that and I want the bottle. I want the bottle there because the bottle is gonna be of some use to us. Grab this branch with the grappling hook and you can swing over there and get out of this area. When you aim at a branch that you can latch onto, ah, will appear, remember that. Don't worry, don't you worry about me, Link. Get going and that yeah, indeed because there it is. This thing's kind of hard to control. A little bit i don't know it's it's very strange and the kind of momentum is a little weird too also you can move while doing this but oh well it's, it's a little weird i will say getting momentum you have to build up quite a bit before you can actually sail forward on most things and oh we can go this way um what's this way i'll go this way why not <laughs> but no blue we're gonna save you buddy we're gonna get you tums too i, I know your tummy must be burning sitting in lava come on you gotta be honest like you're telling me a dragon is sitting in lava like dragons i know they're like not lava proof right they're heat resistance so they need some type of tums or like you know pepto-bismol or something <laughs> you know his tummy's hurt man we gotta we gotta we gotta take care of our boy okay that's what i'm trying to say we gotta take care of our boy, get him some Tums, get him some Advil maybe, I don't know. Uh, this item right here, the grappling hook, is actually quite nice because you can use it on enemies and steal items from them, heck yes! Uh, very nice items indeed. We are getting a lot of joy pendants. Uh, I was mistaken, I believe you need for- excuse you. What is your issue? Bye? <laughs> Bye? Uh, we actually need 40- it, excuse you, we need 40 joy pendants for a certain item I believe later on in the game but 20 go to that teacher 21 actually 21 go to that teacher not 20 21 <laughs> 21 of them go to that teacher so we gotta get another one we are actually getting so lucky usually I have to grind up for joy pendants but I guess not this time and I'm going to cut the bridge I know I'm gonna regret this uh okay hello 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 uh, oh, oh oh really Really? I thought this was cut by now. Oh, cut it! Yeah! Really? <laughs> oh, there it is! Oh, no. That's four. That does not count! That is out of my doing. Fine, I'll count it. That's four. We need one more time before that. Are you serious? This is dumb. <laughs> Why is he running like that? Oh, no, we fell! Oh, stinky boy, stinky boy. And really? You're not gonna drop me nothing, man. That's rude. <laughs> That's rude. What the heck? And we got another joy pendant. Are you kidding me? What the? We are getting so lucky with the joy pendants. I, I've never gotten this lucky with joy pendants. Like I said, usually the pendants are really, really difficult to find, but 
I will take the luck we have been getting, in my opinion. Uh, this platform right here is actually one of my favorite things in this game for some reason. I don't know why, but when I think of this game, I always think of this area right here for some reason, just because I really just, I, ooh, we almost burned our butt five times. It just, it gives me joy and happiness thinking about that little platform that you can just cut down. I don't know why. It's, it's one, it's the little things, man. It's the little things. Uh, our next goal, since we had the, Basically, every dungeon will have an item of the, like an item, a specialized item of the, of the dungeon, and then a, several stuff too, but, um, where, what? Where go? Did I just seriously say where go? <laughs> where go? Um, oh no, I'm lost. Do I have to kill, I don't have to kill the bats, do I? Uh-oh. Uh, let's head back, I guess. Oh no, we need to pull on this. I am so stupid. Hey. There's a bat in my face! There's a bat in my face! <laughs> oh, wait, why am I using a sword when I have the grappling hook? Whatever, man. We don't, th each dungeon will have an item of the dungeon and then some several uh, goodies like heart pieces and uh, treasure charts. So we already got the main thing and now we're looking for the dungeon key. I believe it's the dungeon key? Is it the big key? Is it big key or boss key? I don't even remember what it's called. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh, Scooby. Uh, this thing, another one. Can we go off to the side here? Actually, we need to readjust. Come on, baby, there we go. You can actually readjust, which is very nice, and climb up and down uh, when you're up on those little, or when you're up on the rope, which is very nice, honestly, to readjust, and it's not bad. It is not bad, and okay. Easy Link, easy Link, easy doggy, easy. <laughs> Come on! I think the best momentum is probably right as you get on it or else you, I don't think you'll lose momentum per se, but uh, getting the momentum is very nice right away. And please do not tell me that, no, 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 no. Not you, not you, not you. I do not like you. I hate you. I hate you. I do not like you. Die, <laughs> die. I don't want you. Just get, get, get out of here. Yeah, you don't have a big platform this time, do you, you little turd? And just a heart? Oh wait, I'm stupid, <laughs> I'm stupid. Right as you step off this plate, the fire will come right back on. So you're probably wondering, hey, Flops, how you take care of this one? And get over here, please. Just come bite me, come bite me. Look at me, I'm, uh, what was I gonna say? I'm just, I'm just a guy, look at me. And what you wanna do is pick up his dead corpse or almost dead corpse and use them, use them as a placeholder. <laughs> so we can get our prize. You will wanna grab this chest here, because this chest looks different than the other chests, and you're probably wondering what's in it. And I'll tell you, it's the big key. <laughs> Use it to gain entrance to the room where the dungeon's boss lurks. View the map screen and see for yourself. Yes, we can actually go through. We have the map pretty much done already, which we did pretty well, honestly. For time-wise, we did not too bad. I will meet you on the third floor. Actually, can we go back to the first area? Let me see. We need to go back to the first area. So I'm going to cut to where we can. Oh, maybe not. Uh, What are you? You are evil. You are evil. Why are you like this? <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Get out of here, you little turd. I do not want your money. I do not want your money. You're stupid and your mom dresses you funny. <laughs> I do not want you. Uh, we need to head back to the main campus here. We have one last item that we need to die. We, we have what? not one last item they need to die. One last item we need to collect before actually going to the boss fight. And come on, get over there, Link. Thank you. And I, do we need to go all the way around? I will be actually sad if we need to head all the way around again. We do, gosh dang. Okay, I will meet you at the, at the pot uh, by the boss room. Looks like there's fire keys in here as well, so be a little bit careful, but in order to get back up, since we do not have the bridge, uh, you could just save and quit and do it that way, but uh, you can use this water pot here and just put it on the ground, throw it on the ground like Lonely Island and go up the spire this way. So you can do either or. Can I get another piece of heart, or not a piece of heart, can I get another joy pendant? I can! <laughs> I'm getting so lucky! So back in the main room, I'm gonna show off how this pot ability works now. If you, like I said, just go in this pot, you will take the matrix and, boom, and you'll end up at the beginning of the dungeon, I guess. And I bet if you take it again, you can go to the middle. So uh, we're just gonna go on through. What you want to do, uh, there's a lot new, there's more enemies, those fire keys again, but take a left right away, come back in this area because we didn't, we were not able to go through, excuse you, Red Choo Choo, I do not want you. <laughs> you can go through this area once again and we can claim our prize. Look at this. This is the last thing of the dungeon that we are missing. And it is time 
or a boss after this. Oh boy, I, I'm actually, we did pretty well. I thought this dungeon would pro probably take around 45 minutes to an hour and we're at that 34 mark. So I'm pretty proud. Treasure chart, yay, look at this, we got one. Yay, I'm so proud. Okay, I will meet you back at that boss room. I'm gonna take those pots back up. So yeah, if you just take that pot two times, it'll lead you to this area here. And, um, um, oh, there we go. I was like, where's the water things at? But no, we got to use our dungeon item to get over here. Usually the dungeon items are pretty fire in this game. I will say, excuse you. Hello. Uh, you, you just not, you just don't notice me. Well, eat butt. <laughs> I think you can actually hit him with the hook shot. I'm not sure. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Most of these enemies, okay, you're, you're not being serious. You are not being serious right now. Just go in the lava. I don't like you. I don't like you. You smell and I, I hate you, but uh, ooh, a nice crest. That's our first item. All who are skilled in the ways of the sword know the value of crests such as this. I believe we know what that's talking about. That is later in the game. And oh boy, we're gonna need a crap ton of those and a yellow rupee. <laughs> Perfect. Watch out for these jars right here. There is a really, really good item that we could get in any one of these. And there it is already. Have your jar ready to go. Never mind. Oh, maybe there's another one. Please, can we get another one? If, if not, I will just explain the feature right then and there. I'm sad. I'm sad. A joy pendant. Come on, game. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying the joy pendants are really hard to get and you're, you're disproving me. There's another one. There's another one. These items here. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. I don't want to use you. There we go. These items right here is a little fairy. And don't look. That's the wand. I used to think it was crying, but that's there. There's wand. I think. I think you caught a fairy in a bottle. When your life energy runs out and you collapse from exhaustion, this fairy will replenish your replenish your strength. These are like basically eight hearts. So right now we technically have eight hearts. So when we do die, the fairy will come back and resurrect us. It's very very helpful. I will say very very helpful. But time for the boss. Hello, boss. I'm here and oh, Falu. What? What nice tail you have. And hello, how you doing, buddy? Uh, hopefully, are the kids fine? <laughs> uh, you got a mighty wicked tail, so we're not going to mess with you, but you know what? Uh, we're just going to wait for you, maybe. Hello, how you doing? Uh, no, oh, don't hit me. You hit me twice? I never get hit on this fight. Whatever, I'm gonna hit your eye. No? Hit your eye? I guess not. Uh, do we need to aim for the tail? I think the tail, oh no, the tail's right there. Perfect. Use your grappling hook and aim for the tail and it will drop Falou's butt on this boy and wee yo look at us go And he's cracking it looks like he uh, cracking no he's a little crab boy uh, He's cracking and now he has a basically a shield on as you can say and Lava is not helping his case either I will say but honestly once you're up here uh, try to Try to stay up here is a good is a good game plan. So using Valu's tail once again, we're just going to grab his butt and sail all the way across. This is a really good spot and that's okay, we fell, but we're just going to keep knocking that armor off because we cannot get to it because of it. Ooh, it's cracking. Oh, it's cracking. Fire that back up then. Fire that back up. What are you gonna do about it, you cranky? And oh, oh, there he is. He was very cranky. <laughs> Oh man, this is such, this is so cool looking. Like this boss fight is just so fun and it's so just weird. It's using the item very well in my opinion. And it's just, it's such a cool fight because you're kind of like against your, your wits where that's okay. I'm just gonna stay down here anyway, but you're against your wits. You, you, you know, you, your main weapon is not gonna do anything against this thing. And you know what? It's like, hey man, you just gotta do what you gotta do. And oh man, he's ready to party. So now he's actually more susceptible to attacks. All you gotta do is use your grapple hook to flame his butt or grab his butt and bring him closer because he's kind of far away, honestly. Once it does this part, it's kind of easy. Don't burn my butt five times. There's the fifth, there's the fifth. I told you and that's the boss fight. <laughs> that's the boss fight. Five times I said though, five times. And I promised you, it. that's what it was. That's what it was, five times. I told you, <laughs> let's play Curse is Real. And Oh, poor guy. I didn't mean to harm you that much. 
You're just, you're just a little guy. I'm just a little guy, you know? I'm just a baby. I'm taking your head and putting it on a necklace. Looks like we have a way out of this dungeon once and for all. And hey, look at this. This isn't just a piece of heart. This is a heart container. Your life energy has increased by one. Plus your life gauge has been replenished. That is right. We have five hearts. Remember when we got four hearts recently? Yeah, we're at five now. We're gonna start gaining hearts pretty, pretty quick. And I guess we can leave. We got everything we needed. So it's time to jet. Link! Well, Prince Kamali, don't you have something you want to say? Um, I heard everything from Medley. Link, thank you so much. I'm sorry I mistrusted you. I hope I can be like you someday, Link. You will, Kamali, I just know it. Right, Link? So, Link, here. I want you to take this, Link. Giving you this thing I value most will give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll take it. You received Din's Pearl. This is the gem the Rito's claim was passed down from the great goddess. And they gave it to a random boy. <laughs> I love it. The great Valu is grateful to you, Link. Use the wind god's wind? That's what he said, but I don't understand. I I don't understand. I wonder what it means. The wind god's wind. I wonder what he's talking about. What he's talking about has anything to do with the wind shrine that's through that tunnel that we totally did not do two episodes ago. Oh, I, I almost forgot. The great Valu has also names, names you, Link, a true hero. I agree with him. As far as we're concerned, Link, you really are a hero. Well, I'm gonna go and visit Valu. I'll come to see. I'll come and see you sometime with the best pair of wings ever. Hey, Prince Kamali! <laughs> Thanks so much, Link. Uh, see you again someday. Oh, it looks like their family's finally happy again. Oh, this was such a good ending. What the heck? Oh man! And hi, Beetle. <laughs> Everyone wants to be in the story. That is going to be it for this episode. Next time on the Legend of Zelda: The Links. The Link's Awakening. No, the, the Wind Waker. We're heading back to Windfall Island to do some more things. Of course. There's a, there's stuff going, you know, there's stuff going on there all the time after dungeons. So we'll be heading there next. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>